Hello and welcome to this map, first look map tour. We start here at the shop where the equipment, the starting equipment is. We'll have a look at that later. Here is the shop. Looks like we've got a case dealer. This map is currently in testing at Giants and hopefully will be released shortly do any of these open up to yep there you go so we've got the shop there where you buy stuff and I'll take it one of these will be the repair shop yeah there you go there's the repair shop so you can come in there and repair your vehicles let's have a look on the map and as you see there are 126 fields of which you start with fields 25, 28 and 29. Not sure where the main farm is. The farm dealer and all the sell points are down this end where we start. So we will want to be heading out of the shop area and got to remember to go on the so here is the first of the sell points my dairy that's where you sell your milk and also mid-range eggs for the selling of your eggs and I would imagine in here as well Midwest Wools, there's the sell point for your wool. Ahead from us there is a fuel station. That seems to be all. I want to go this way because there's another sell point. So there you have Casey's General Store and fuel station. So if you want to buy some food, that's where you get that from. Now you can go either way out of here. I want to find out where you go to get into Horizon Co-op, which is where that is one of the sell points in there. So it will be a map I am planning on doing. This will actually become the new Okay, so we want to turn around from there. Let's just bring our shuttle up. And as you see, it's a, a nice map. It's a large map. And a uh, bit of everything to be done around here. Now, where you actually get into that sole point, we don't know, but that will sell the grains. We want to be heading out of here the way towards the next set of sell points as a typical open spaces of America and big big fields this field 8 is massive and there you got field 85 which looks big but it says it's a small one there's the woodland area let's have a look and see inside the wooden dairy see what they've done on the floor and there are all old, old rotted leaves and things so they've took the time to do something with the floor of the forest so could well be 
an excuse to do some forestry. Field 85, field 7, and here is something here which isn't actually marked on the map. So this could be one of the farms on the map. Looks pretty much like that's what it is. Just a small little farmyard. Right, let's carry on out of here and head further along this road. As you see, we'll bring the map down to a mini map so you can see. And look at that out there, the scenic views. Like the way they've done looking at it from here, the borders. Whereas, hello, what have we got here? Looks like we've got a flooded field here. Water running across the road and through the. That could be a problem. That could well be a problem. Let's have a run across and see what this is here. It could well be a piece of equipment, of course. Not sure what this is here. May not be a problem. That could well be a part of a flooded field. That looks like it's a measure for how deep the water is. I will. I got this map off the Facebook page. It's early access. So, is this water meant to come out where it does? I'm not so sure as it does. It looks like it's a dike that's flooded its banks, but I'm not sure. I will mention that on the page. It's field 9, has got water standing in it. Not 100% sure that water should stand in it. Let's see over there as well. There's no water on the map, so to speak. So it could well be that it's a deliberate thing. Looking over there as well, could be another of the farms that's not marked on the map. And here we have another field with some woodland attached to it. We want to go down here a little ways yet and we are looking either side of the road and there again down there looks like Looking from here, it could well be more water in the fields. Now that way looks like another map. So, Amsterdam Road and Town of Road. I just want to go down this road and have a look. There is plenty of woodland, so if you like doing your forestry, there's plenty to go at. And I did see water, although this water, the water in this dike, seems a little low to what it should be. But there you go. That's, there is water on here. I think the water plane is probably a little... Oh, and here we have what looks like another farm down here. Although, again, the farms don't appear to be marked on the map. We'll have a ride down here. That's a very tricky little roadway in. And this does look like another farm. It could be a long first look this. It is a four times map. And there again water going through in a dike. And here is what looks like another farm. This farmyard's not that big really. And this looks like it could be the cow farm. Or indeed, I'm not sure. You know, I am not sure what we have got here. That looks like it's a manure point. But not sure what 
animals are in here. Or what animals go in here. There's a lot. I think there is a fair bit missing off this map at the moment. So I can't... If this is the map version that has gone to Giants for testing, then it will probably fail. I don't know. It just could just be the the buildings that's in here. Can you get in the house or no? And no point of sleeping there either. So that's strange one to me. Not sure what that is, but uh, we will undoubtedly find out. The only concerning thing at the moment is the water in field nine, which has flooded. Across the the field, could well be that it's a deliberate thing, but uh, not sure as that it really is. So we shall now now. Do we want to go to the left? Yes, that's where the other soul points are down this road. So we need to carry on down here. As you see, this field here, field 87, a small field, that is one of the smaller fields on the map, and they're still pretty big fields. You're going to need some pretty big equipment for most of this. I mean, field 36 there, that's massive. And if you want to go big farming, this is the type of map you want. We could well... do a series big farming I mean look at that field 108 that is it's immense it's going to take you days to do that this would have to be of course if it's going to be a series this would have to be All right so now do we need to go down here for the animal dealer and the other soul points These fields are huge. They are going to take some doing. This would have to be a live stream series if we're going to do it. And I have a good mind on Thursday to have episode one, Midwest Horizon. It's a map that is currently not out, but I do have. And now, I do have a liking for doing this. Here is the next of the soul points. Now I imagine you probably drive through here to tip your grain. There you are. There's the grain tipping point. There's two tr grain tipping points in here, actually. And uh, uh, all those are grain silos for selling stuff and in here as well looks like these in here you can't actually get in that shed unless I'm stuck on yeah you can't get in that shed that's just a decoration shed just a little shame you can't get in it but uh, spin the truck around and uh, we shall head out of here and we need to go where do we need to go to get to this animal dealers that is the thing unless this is the animal dealers that looks like an house that is part of the there's way bridge there when you're going in and out does that way bridge actually work we shall try it just out of interest we shall check and see 2299 yes that way bridge that's that is that's nice 
that way bridge actually does work brilliant so we shall now head off to find the animal dealer which we have just gone past but I didn't see so this must be the edge of the map here we'll see how far it actually goes before it stops us and there you are now that is a great way to have a field edge on the map so now we want to go back up here it is a huge huge map and uh, would really be getting lost but I think this would make a great live stream map or a multiplayer map but if we do go on a farm and we want to shoot off down this road I saw a building down here just want to see what these buildings are down here as you can see again we are down the side of field 104 there which is pretty big and field 105 that side is pretty small so there are small fields if you want to do a single player leave the big fields for other people to farm and what is in here MH and company animal that animal logistics here is the animal dealers so that is not an in-game animal dealer and I like I like that pigs come out of there sheep come out of there so it, uh, pigs and cows come out of there so can you not therefore then buy sheep So you can buy pigs, sheep and cows. Yes, you can buy pigs, sheep and cows there. But you've got cows, back your trailer up to there and the cows will be going in as will the pigs in there. That's great. Let's now see where we need to head now. We want to go up to the north, follow around up. the outside of the map a little. and good thing about it being an American map the roads are pretty straight so we can get some speed up and travel pretty quickly from one place to another we want to go back down here backtracking a little and then along this road which field 108 there absolutely massive you need two or three combines on workers and course play combines working and that would actually work well if you had a few combines working on course play and workers carting away you could be a farm manager and just driving around here looking at what they are doing here is what looks like another of the farmyards although with a map this size you could actually turn one of the fields into a farmyard so this is one that doesn't have an house to it so again we'll have a look in the sheds and again it's those sort of very much Americanized sheds that one's a decent shed And there is a shed you can drive. What's? Looks like that is where you probably tip your maize. Interestingly enough, does the doors open? Yes, the little doors open as well. So yeah, 
several little farmyards dotted about on the map but they're not as far as I can see marked on the map anywhere very well although there is a little that's what you're looking for is just little real small building type attachments to it so we want to come out of here and go back along this road be interesting to find out where the main farm is and see what that's like there's a house there with a letterbox outside and a red thing stuck up what did I see over there? I'm sure I saw a combine no it's a building of some description over there but we will zoom out a little let you take in the map a couple more little houses there that are owned by other people these fields really are big it's it is a nice map I really like the way he's got the dikes around here as I say at the moment I think the farms could be marked a little better but that's not a game breaker the only thing that concerns me slightly is that the water has run out of the river and flooded one of the fields that's the top of the map so we now want to go around to our right and follow this road down a ways and then the next main road we need to go right again and that will take us down to the fields that we own those dikes there haven't got a lot of water in I think he's probably struggled to get water in the dikes because water was coming up in the fields further along the map I'm not guaranteed that's right but it is a beautiful map yes it's open it's got a big wide open spaces but the part the wheat belt in America this is just how it is and here we have another field that looks like it's got water in this field also has waterlogged in it so there are a couple of little parts that need a bit of work but that said this map and looks like the trees there are flooded as well it has got to be something to do with these dikes it's got to be something to do with these drains and getting water into them which has flooded the fields around I mean it's not a game breaker that this happens and we want to spin around here because the fields we are wanting to go to see are down this road more houses there's a pit there dug into the ground this is a massive massive map and that looks again is that cotton or is that a field what's flooded that looks like it's cotton that is cotton but again the bottom end of this field it looks as though it's got water in probably hasn't we'll have a look a bit closer but no that is just the cotton glinting in the sun I think again there is a little farmstead I'd be tempted to build my own farm actually take one of these fields and build a farm if you had one of the bigger fields it's not going to really matter that uh, and what's in here is this your vehicle workshop 
It is. This is a bit... It hasn't got a trigger for a workshop in it. Although it is a workshop. But there is no trigger for a workshop in there. That's that's a shame. But we have got our own workshop mod, which is that building, but in a different colour. So now we come up to where I think power is. So this is the first field you start with. Field 29. And it needs ploughing, it needs lime, it's weed free, fertiliser free and owned by you. But no crop in there or growing, so that's right off the get-go. You've got to have a seed drill. Because your fields that you own haven't got any crops in them. Interestingly, a lot of map makers start you off with with crops. Uh, here is this is what I guess would be your main farm. And again, it's one of the these buildings are not very useful at all. But I've been said that again looks like a grain store. But as I say, again, I would tend to probably in one of the fields and there's no house here so this cannot be your main farm I would be tempted to let's go down this dirt track a minute I would be tempted one of these fields which are around here, and that's just a track to get round to there. So we will go back the way we came, some gates there to the grass field. I would be tempted, as I say, to take one of these fields and make my own farm. Probably even sell those three fields from the get-go. Well, that's interesting. I just saw a dike in a, ri a gate in a river. So, what is in there that you need a gate in a river? Let's just look at this, jump over here. So, there is a wire fence goes down to there. Can you get under the bridge? No, get over it. Do these gates open? No. So why that gate is actually there, I don't know. But, yeah. I would sorely be tempted to... in doing... a let's play on this map... would be to... sell those fields off. Start with... As if it's a start from scratch. And build your farm up in one of the fields. We are now back to the... Oh no, we're not back to the waterlogged field. That is another waterlogged field. I will send him a message because a lot of these fields through here are badly waterlogged. You, you cannot work those. That field is flooded. And again, it is. Because that dike is again full of water. It's flooded onto the field. That side is hard, that side is that flooded as well. Further down where you've got water in the dike. I think the map still needs a bit of work. I don't think. I am not 100% guaranteeing this map is going to fail, but I have a big feeling this map could fail Giants testing due to those fields being waterlogged. If that is the case, then 
it will be a longer wait to get them. Here is the first waterlogged field we come, so it is seemingly through this central part that it is waterlogged which is a big shame massive massive shame because it is a beautiful beautiful map it's well I'd say probably just over between half and three quarters finished the icons for where your farms are the farm buildings themselves are not overly useful so it's somewhere between half and three quarters finished it is a beautiful map what is done that's working so far is great so let's have a look at the salt points so you've got the co-op farms grain horizons co-op that's Cooper, not Co-op, sorry. Horizon Co-op, MH Cattle and Feed, Mid Dairy, Mid Cut, Mid Range Eggs and Mid Wool. And you have Wheat, Barley, Oilseed Rape, Canola, canola Sunflower, Soya Beans, Maize, Potatoes, Sugar Beet, Cotton, Wood, Eggs, wool, milk, wood chips, silage, a straw and grass and manure sell points and also, well there's a water t symbol there but there's nowhere to sell it and nowhere to sell the manure. Let's have a look at the prices of the fields. I would imagine some of these fields are going to be expensive. There you are, field 108, 1,373,999. Field 31, 134,000. Field 32 and 34 together, 357,000. Field 35 is 193. 76 is 56,244. So there are places that you can set up nicely how much would you get for that hundred and seventy seven thousand pounds you would get if you sold your starting plot field 55 is 200 and f oh, that's a 49 as well two hundred and four thousand field 57 now that to me that to me would be a great starting part place on the map two hundred and eight thousand or 209,000 say for field 57 which comes with the bits of whatever it is around it if you could start yourself off in there it but that 62 is again, would 1 million be great to have with it. But that includes field 69 field 41 518,000 so the field price is not too bad let's have a look at your starting equipment what you start with in here so you start with the John Deere 8400R the John Deere 7270R the Lizard Warrior articulated tractor unit the John Deere T560 combine harvester the Lizard Pickup 2014, the Wilson Pace Setter Trailer to go on the back of the Warrior, the Kinsey Grain Cart, the Auger Wagon, the John Deere 625X Edda and the 608C Edda for your John Deere Combine, the Osh Tiger 6DT, Cultivator, the Osh Pronto 9DC Cedar, the Kuhn Axis 40.2M EMCW Fertilizer Spreader. That is everything you start with. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, give it a share, drop us a comment. If you are new to some of Palmer States and would like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel. Tap on that bell, it will tell you when we do our live streams, when we do these videos. Until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now. <laughs>